Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got another beer from Boxcar and this is their new Double Dark Mild. Double Dark Mild, 6.3% ABV. These guys are out of Bethnal Green in London. Awesome stuff there. So yeah, an English Dark Ale, 440ml uh, can. This was canned on the 22nd of January of 2021 best before the 22nd of January of 2022 so a year shelf life on this one so um, it's a luxurious uh, a luxurious style we love softer and smoother than a stout this is an amped up interpretation of our dark mild I think I've had I might have had their mild I'm not too sure whether I reviewed it or not I know I've done something they've done a collaboration with um i can't remember <laughs> so that's good um but yeah check out the the uh, playlist down below um so i think this is in uh, collaboration with the malt miller um yeah uh the malt miller uh, lab provided the yeast you can buy the home brew recipe at the malt miller of this so maltmiller.co.uk um so yeah, and boxcar, so suitable for vegans, as I said, 440ml can, water, barley, oats, wheat, hops, and yeast, not wheat, oats, get it right. Anyway, let's crack it open then, see what we get out of this one. Purchased at the Little Swift in Margate, incidentally, um, so if you're local, do check them out, even if this beer isn't there, they, they've still got a great range of beers. I always try and support them as much as I can. Oh, look at this coming out of here. I'll leave it like that for now. Wow. Give it a little tap just to get the bubbles off the side. So, yeah, beer in a glass. It's actually jet black. There's no kind of ruby hues on this at all. It's a one finger kind of. Yeah light beige head but really creamy tightly packed bubbles in this one so it looks really good like a stout um, but not a stout a mild an English mild ale which you don't get I mean th there has been a lot of interest certainly with, with, between some of the my, my good friends and um, beer tubers and um, that there's not a lot of milds um, out there apart from the the real kind of like traditional ones there's not a lot of craft breweries doing milds um but yeah interesting other box car i've done two or three now so i don't know my local brewery does one uh one or two per year so anyway let's get an aroma on this one okay getting really strong yeah it's a It's, it's almost like a cream. It's like a you know the alcoholic chocolate uh, you can get in a, in a pack. It's reminding me of that. But I'm just trying to picture what actual um, type of liqueur it is. There's definitely a, a, a darker fruit or something type like that in there. Maybe like red currant. Red currant, very kind of, there's a slight sweetness to it. Definitely a milky chocolate. Yeah, slight sweet edge. Not overly roasty, toasty. More of a cream, smooth kind of mouthfeel, I guess. Let's try, anyway, let's get it on, cheers. That's very good. Wow, that is smooth. Creamy. I don't know why. I was picking it up on the aroma. It's leaving a lovely lacing on this. Tightly packed bubbles. Oh, there's a nice residual sweetness coming off, off the palate as well. That's, that's really good. 
not overly sweet, but well rounded, you know. Mm. Yeah, red currant. That chocolate works really well. It all falls into place. What a beautiful, beautiful beer this is. Wow. That is very, very good indeed. Um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That really is good. Mm. It's not cherry. It's definitely more red currant. It's so smooth. It's so smooth and rounded. Medium body. You're not picking up the ABV. Not overly sweet. Very easy drinking. I mean, really easy drinking. It's a bit worrying, really, how easy drinking that is for, for the ABV. Um, you know, certainly almost um, velvety, almost. Yeah, low bitterness, but not overly sweet. Pitched just really well. Real nice chocolatey notes in there. That is a fantastic beer. That really is a damn good beer. Um, it's got a very high score on Untapped as well. So go and check that out. Um, if you're on Untapped and see what you think. But um, And I do put my scores on Untapped now, but I don't do them in the review. So go and check out on Untapped if you want to see what I think of it. Overall though, oh. If there's still some more cans of this left next week, then I might get another. I mean, I've got another one already. I've bought two. I don't often do it, but I thought, oh, double mild. You don't get many of them beers around, so or milds in general. So I thought, oh, I fancy some milds, so I've got a couple of cans. Might get some more. Literally might get some more. Um, but yeah, whether, I mean, but it won't be around for long, of course. As, as a lot of beers these days with certain breweries um, yeah great stuff really good um, yeah go and try it for yourself that's all I can say um, but yeah all the links are down below for the brewery for the little swifty for local for home delivery um, if this is not on there there'll be a range of other beers that will be and um, they do a weekly um, order form and they'll deliver to your house if you spend 20 quid, free delivery. So it's pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, check out Boxcar. Really damn good uh, brewery out of uh, Bethnal Green in London. Um, very underrated in my opinion. Great stuff. Uh, check them out. Links down below for, for the playlist if you want to look at for some other beers. And from them, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Cheers.